All right, so you want a dog to focus on you? This one actually wasn't gonna be a train video. This one was actually because a client at work um, was having trouble with her puppy and was asking what she can do with her puppy to not just tire her out physically, but also mentally, because she has a new, I think it was a lab or golden retriever, one of the two. Anyways, but dog's a puppy, tons of energy, and she keeps running it, running it by water, but just has no control. So one of the things totally she can always do is just play the game of getting the dog to focus on her. So in this one, just figured, fuck it, rather than telling you how to do it, just gonna show you. So it's got some treats in here, gonna use Ace, but also Ava, cause she has a red ball. So to make her right there, we all know how she is with her red ball, but in this case, the game is the dog looks at you, they get a reward. So this way, every time, even if it's an older dog or younger dog, they know when they look at you, something good is coming from it. So now they can associate and start bonding with you to understand, hey, you are a so source of goodness. This is why hand feeding is such a benefit. So you can always start small, one or two looks, boom, give it. As the dog is starting to understand the game, you can add distractions, move your hands, um, I'm on the mum mum, build duration, there it was. So the longer the dog looks at you, then you give them a re reward. Okay, so you'll see it kind of intermittently with Ace, and then we'll kind of do more of the advanced stuff with Ava. All right, so be short and quick. Here we go. And as you can see, he's already looking at me because he knows the game. Yep. And I don't actually have that much uh, treats today. And I actually use cheese, not because of for any rhyme or reason, other than I actually eat more string cheese than anything. But. Here we go. There you go. Hey, so let me. Yes. Good luck. Good luck. Looking. Focus. Yes. Right there in my hand, but Ace is still focused. Yes. <laughs> One little trick you can do to make sure he always focuses on you is as you give him a reward, bring it up to your face, you know, by your eye, nose, mouth, whatever. So this way, again, his eyes are drawn to you as you're giving the reward. And now we got some company with our neighbor. See, perfect time to get focused, especially with distractions. Couldn't be better than that. Zooking, I got treats in both hands now. Ah, ah. There was a the break. Saw it. Ah. Focus. Yes. And it's okay for the dog to break. Everyone says the dog's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, the dog, you have to correct the dog to understand, for them to understand what they're doing was wrong. So this way, they can get better and improve. Set, focus, yes. Focus some duration. I'm not always big on the bridge words or anything like that. So this way, like, you know, good, good, good pet. You know, I'm okay with petting so they know this is what they're doing is right. It's okay. I'm usually one for you say the word and then that's it. Okay, focus. Yes. And if you're a really beginner, for them to keep looking, if you're using a treat, you can always just hold it right there. So again, when they see the treat, they're actually looking at you. So again, their brains are working. Yep. There you go. That's it. Pretty simple. Gonna call Ava over and let's see if we can really mess with her with the treats and the her ball. And Ace is right here because he still gets the game. And good focus. Yes. There you go. Ava, come here. See, she 
were just anticipating that. Right. There's the focus. Focus. Yes. I just dropped the tree because she's too amped up to actually take the treat from my hand. But it's also a good segue with the focus to actually get a focus heel. Because now they're actually understanding, hey, looking up you, looking up, up, looking up you, looking at you, gets them something. So again, as you're walking, you're trying to dial in your heel. As long as they're looking at you, again, they look at you, boom. That's just a long way. You can even do it in the house. You've got the leash, it's fine. Um, outside, they look at you, treat. Look at you, treat. You can also lure to keep it right here. So again, as they know, focusing up on you, something good is gonna happen eventually. And then as they get older and they understand, you can start fading to trees. Come here. Stop. Bringing it down lower. So again, right in their peripheral. Yes. This one's the real test because literally her shit is right there next to her, so she knows I'm moving it, but she's still focusing. So that one I put her right into her left and she looked up right at me, not even at the uh, her ball. So immediate response. So quicker, quicker you release, faster they will get the game of understanding, hey, faster I look at you, faster there's a chance I'm gonna get something. Hey. Same thing, just under right. Come here. Up. Down. Hey, look. Crack. Left. Hopefully you can see this. Front. Now we got that eh, eh, front. There is the break because she's waiting because she wants her ball, but she's still focusing. She's got ace on the left and the ball on the right. Put her to left. There's the focus. Good duration. Good duration. Because I'm a stickler. Good duration. Yes. And there you have it. Okay. Get creative with it, have fun. Five, 10 minutes, you'll be surprised how spent your dog will be mentally and burn off some of that energy, all right? This should be a staple, it's foundation work 
Uh, so just have fun with it. Be patient. Good luck. Talk to you next time.